So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to edit and customize your video. Now, normally after recording a video, you'll be taken directly into the editor to start working on your video, but you can also access the editor for any video by clicking on these three dots here and then pressing edit, or if you go to the video's view page, then you can head up to the top right and click edit, and that will take you into the editor. So a quick bit of navigation so you know what you are looking at. Up the top left, you've kind of got navigation. Uh, on the right, you've got all your tools, which we're going to get into in a moment. And then down the bottom here, you've got your clip bar, which has all the clips you have recorded. And then just above that, you've kind of got the timeline, which shows you the clips, which are represented with these gaps here. Um, shows you all the clips uh, relative to one another on an actual time sense. So you can see that clip one is this long and then clip two is actually uh, quite a bit longer. Let's start working on our video. The first thing you probably want to do to a video is to trim it so you can remove any mistakes or things like that. So if we head up to the top right, click trim, you can see that we can grab the handle here and remove this silent part at the beginning, maybe remove this silent part at the end. And then if you want to remove some mistake or silent parts in the middle, you can click here, hit split, click at another point, hit split, and then you can press the delete button or your keyboard and that will remove that part. And now this bit is not going to be in your video. You can also tweak that by grabbing the handle there. If you want to get a little bit more precise, just click on the handle so it's selected and then use your keyboard to move it back and forth like this and, and that'll help you get a bit more control over your video. When you want to move to the next clip, just click on the clip bar here and it'll take you to whatever the next clip is and uh, you can do the same there, trim and split and everything and you can work your way through all of the clips. So the next thing I want to show you is the screen cropping tool, which is particularly handy for screen recordings. It means you can remove unwanted parts from your video. Maybe you've got stuff on screen that you don't want people to see or there's distractions or you just want to make it look nicer. So in my case, I want to get rid of this menu bar. And so I can select the screen and then click the crop screen tool on the right here or the inline button here. Uh, and then now I can grab the handles and then just adjust that to where I want. You can click done and now we have a much cleaner looking screen recording. So with our screen recording cropped up and looking good, next we want to change the layout. So you can click on the layout option here and you can see you get a bunch of uh, different layouts that you can choose from. Now if you've ever tried to make a layout like this, the camera bubble one, uh, in a regular video editor, you'll know that it's a pain in the ass uh, and we've tried to make that a lot simpler. So you can just click on the layout you want and then it magically kind of looks nice for you right there uh, on your screen. And you can play around with whichever layout uh, you want and get pretty creative with it. Uh, so if I wanted the, the classic camera bubble layout, uh, this would be the one I want there. Now. If you want all of your clips looking like this with this layout, you just want to press apply to all clips and then that'll mean that every other clip that matches this type, so a screen and camera recording, will have that layout. But next up, let's change the background of a video. So it's already got a pretty cool background, but if you click on the background option, you can pick from one of the Teller defaults. You can search through Unsplash and find all sorts of fun stuff on there. You can pick a color, make your own gradient, or you can upload your own creations. When you have a background that you want, you can then just click apply to all clips like we did with the layout. And then that's gonna mean that all the other clips uh, get that background matching as well. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna show you in this video, cause I will go on and on if I have to show you everything, uh, is the zooms feature. So to apply some zooms, click on the zoom option here. And then you go into a mode that's similar to the trim mode. But the difference is instead of removing stuff, you get to add zooms to the timeline. So you can use the waveform as a guide and you can press add zoom from here or you can use the zoom button up here and that will add a zoom to your timeline. Now to give you an idea of what a zoom does, if we just play this clip, you'll get an idea. So now you can see it basically zooms in. Now to make the zoom a little bit more useful, you can head up to the top right and grab the little target which represents the focus point of the zoom, so where it's gonna zoom into. So if I put it down here, it'll focus in on the bottom left of the video. 
and uh, if we play that back you'll see how that looks nice uh, after at the end of the zoom it will then take into the tele editor zoom back out you can click on the zoom and move the zoom around and you can also grab the handles and adjust its duration so for how long it stays zoomed in you can then get a little bit more creative with it by adjusting the scale and it's changing its speed and then the final neat thing I want to show you is that you can kind of connect zooms together so if I add another zoom and I make sure it's touching the previous one then what you get is this nice panning effect so you can see how this looks when I play this back is we need to get this ready so it works better on mobile so nice so you can have a lot of fun with that and uh, make your videos more engaging now there's a ton more stuff that you can maybe not a ton but there's a lot more stuff that you can do in the teller editor head to our knowledge base to check out all the different things that you can do there